Are you happy, Internet? Do you finally love me? Hey, welcome to Mythical Kitchen. As you can see, we are not in the Mythical Kitchen today. We are in sunny Brooklyn, New York. I am in Brooklyn, New York, because for the last 16 months, I have had people DMing me saying, when are you gonna get the Babish tattoo? When are you gonna get the Babish tattoo? Whoever loses the stream ace has to get the other's face tattooed on their back. What did I just do? <laughs> <laughs> this is not my award, and I swear I'm not pulling a Kanye West right now. Uh, I'm not binging with Babish. My voice does not sound like the uh, movie trailer voiceover guy, but he did ask me to accept on his behalf. Andrew was on my show, Food Fears, and I might have made a bet where I agreed if he won and I lost, I would get a tattoo of his face somewhere on my body. Hi ho, welcome to my house. <laughs> Thank you for having us. <laughs> Hey, hello. I love, Lovely, he, goes, he goes, I'll kick things off. I'm like, oh great, he's got like an intro line that'll kick everything <laughs> off. It's just right into, hi-ho. <laughs> About a year and a half ago, we, we made a bet uh, that if I lost to you in the streamies, which if we're being honest, I knew I would. And Gordon Ramsay was in there. <laughs> and so like, if anything, like best case scenario, nothing happens. Yeah. Worst case scenario, fast forward a year and a half and I am waiting on a tattoo artist to show up in 34 minutes to tattoo your face somewhere on my body. This is my beautiful girlfriend, Julia, um, who I don't think I'm giving away too much about our personal lives when I say that, you know, uh, uh, you see more of my body and the things on it whoa, than most people. Whoa, hey, whoa. hey, hold on. But I will say on our first date, you, uh, when I asked, oh, do you have any tattoos other than the one right there? Mm -hmm. uh, you said I have a goat laying down with glasses on my lower back and I, I thought you were kidding. Bend over a little bit? Oh, yes. That's the angle? Yeah. That's what you're looking for? We got some good light on it now. No kid hungry. That's a $30,000 tattoo. Mm. Sure enough, in the middle of like a pretty nice restaurant, he was about to get up and uh, well, if you yeah. Yeah. Show me. Nice yeah, well I went over to the nice restaurant and I and I, I like wow. kind of gave her one of those. It is your face. I mean, do you have a Well, it is your body. <laughs> Gals, gals, stop <laughs> fighting over me. So, so I, I think I'm doing the logo. Okay. I'm, cool. When I say I think, I mean I'm definitely doing the logo. Just, just for people's uh, context, <laughs> while we scrap yeah, yeah. so we could use this for reference. Yeah, maybe like, like right kind of just bit. like kind of try like if we go like a nip. It's a perfect nip and size. It's, I was thinking kind of like a cool thigh tattoo right under the jorts, but then she was worried that your face would be like, you know, only half visible, and then it'd just be like a person's mouth. Yeah. That's very thoughtful of you. What I could do is the NASCAR route, where I just reserve the entire back yeah. for various branded content oh, tattoos. That's cool. And so we could just have you like sort of above the goat. Like granted, this was like for a good yeah. cause, raised 30 grand for No Kid Hungry. You've done, you know, like not you much. You wanna stream but me? <laughs> what? <are> you, what <laughs> um, so she was like, what if Babish murders somebody eventually and you just have a tattoo of his face on you? Mm. Yeah. And well, so... Logo's pretty pr pretty ambiguous. So throw some devil horns on there. If I yeah. Think or just, just be like, bad person. The tattoo artist, his name is Joseph. You'll see him very soon. He seemed very concerned about the fact that we were getting a tattoo in a kitchen studio. And I was like, yeah, hey, we got Lysol wipes. You know, you can just wipe the marinara sauce off of me. <laughs> um, but... I, you know, I sanitize this wooden butcher block every day. That's good. <laughs> I had raw meat on here yesterday, and I think I wiped it down. I think. That's fine. If I get E. coli here, I can. <laughs> I'm just gonna sue and just live off of your mom. Gonna take so half this gonna, house. What we're gonna do is, what we're gonna do is have you look dead in the camera and say, "I take no responsibility." <laughs> for Cut that. That does shit. not make the edit. That does. Not do you have any plans on committing like heinous crimes? Like, can you just like convince her that you're not gonna do that? Who plans to commit heinous crimes. I don't crimes? know. That's like part of being tried for a heinous crime. Well, is if you plan it or not. Yeah. If I'm second degree, are you still gonna hate me if I'm second degree? Man? I don't care what you do. I'm gonna keep it. It's her, man. I think we're settled on lower back. I think we go right above the goat. Okay. I think we go lower back. I think we keep my entire back for content-based tattoos. When Doritos comes out with a new flavor that they're trying to promote, we can put them right above your face. We can even have. Have like a little, like little like Dorito Dinamita stick. Perhaps like a <laughs> Jesus snap or something. If, we, if, if, if the in, inverse were to happen, if you were to have won, uh, I never would have gotten the tattoo. You never would have got. Can you I'm just kidding, say I'm you would have? Kidding, for Christ's sake, you got cilantro growing no, out of your I'm, pits. I, I'm kidding. I would have done it. I just, I just wanted to enrage you. I would have done it. I would have done it. Thank you. Absolutely. Right. That means a lot to me. All right. Gosh, go. Juliet, can we all like just do one of these? Make it a fish. And now we are all bonded for life in the Celtic knot ceremony. Jess, I'm sorry, we're married now.
Uh, have y'all ever done uh, like a, a tattoo in a kitchen before? Uh, let's say I have, but <laughs> 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 not anything pretty, all right? Oh, no, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Do you have any concerns about today? Um, it's too late to ask, we're already here, but you know, I'm just curious about your state of mind here. <laughs> Outside of a lower back tattoo? Yeah. How, how many male oh, lower back tattoos have you done? Hebrew Dorito tattoo idea. I mean, although I'm sure you're going to hear about it. But no, I want to get Doritos and Hebrew across my chest because, like, my Jewish heritage is very important to me. However, I don't speak Hebrew. Yeah. Do you want me to undress to my level of comfortability? Do you want me to like, just like go full fancy? Is this like a massage? The level of comfortability is. I, also, to, to be, I had never gotten a massage, but the one time I got a massage, I just like, uh, they were like, undress to your level of comfortability. And I was like, okay. And I stripped off my pants. They're like, whoa, 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 I have to leave the room first. And I was like, oh God, I didn't know. So anyways, I'm here for the massage. Yeah, you got Wait, this is my first back hair. Julia, this is a big moment. Not anymore. Julia, <laughs> I'm shaving your boyfriend. Julia, Julia do you want to come watch? Do you want me to arch my back more? Would that help you or, or not help you? Oh yeah, yeah, let me do a little disclaimer. Let me do a little disclaimer. Uh, uh, Andrew binging with Babish Ray does not have any legal culpability insofar as I may die today or just make a regrettable decision. And also Julia can never give me any crap for this throughout our relationship, uh, so help us God. Amen? <laughs> Should we do a little, uh, a little Hebrew prayer? Do a little Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedoshanu B'mitzvah Tov, Amen. That was for my grandma who doesn't like that I have tattoos. But no, I wanna get Doritos in Hebrew across my chest because like my Jewish heritage is very important to me. However, I don't speak Hebrew. My favorite thing about tattoos is that they're permanent and that you can never go back. Uh, someone, someone give me like a, Something I can rant about so I can distract myself from the pain. Once I crap my pants to get out of going to the dentist. You got literally right over I'm your sorry. Pants. No, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just saying, I, I was like old too. I was like 12. I feel good. I feel good. And I'm at peace with my decision more than anything. It's like the way that, you know, when bears hibernate, they'll like shove sticks and berries up their butthole. What? Oh, yeah. They like, they so like you shove. Them do this? I haven't like, I haven't like watched them in the wild, but like, you know, I've seen nature documentaries. Yeah, I'm an incredibly well-educated man. That's how I ended up in this profession. Are you happy, internet? Do you finally love me? <laughs> Please buy an apron or something. Make this worth it. Go to mythical.com or whatever. Where's Julia? Julia! Julia, my love! I totally botched our first kiss though. You, you, that's that's a fun story. Well, well, we like, we, I like, I like, I did the hitch thing, you know? You like lean in 90% of the way and it's like, uh, you know, let her meet me the rest of the way. And then we kind of just like headbutted each other and apologized instead. But then like still like awkwardly made out, perfectly sober on a Wednesday, uh, like next to, you know, like a, a Honda CRV. Honda CRV, the official sport utility vehicle of, of awkward first date kisses. Yeah. That looks good. It looks, good. It looks really good. And that was rounding out the whole lower back. Yeah. Do you, would it feel? Would it make you more or less comfortable if we put your name above it? I think that's a question for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a question. We'll talk later. I think I think there's enough of me on there. If we do like a sort of like why like a macro shot of the butt cheeks flexing, like is he dancing? Andrew, you dance next to it to see if it looks the same. So it was my plan, buddy. How, where, how are we doing? Are we, is that good? Uh, John Favreau gave you the fork that you have tattooed on your arm. Huh? I would like to give you a fork that I have tattooed hey. on my arm. It's not a special. It wasn't in a movie. This, um, this is very special. Should I get this tattooed now? Should I get a matching one? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Mythical Kitchen. I'm in here with Jess. Get this. The intro. Jess, get Wait, this. The intro. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, wait, shut up. Hey, hey, shut up. Get the camera. We're shooting the intro. Shooting the intro. Hey everybody, welcome to Mythical Kitchen. I'm here with Andrew from Binging with Babish. You might know him from Binging with Babish. Today we're both getting tattoos. I think I'm a little delirious from pain. It's gonna get crazy, guys. Stay tuned after these messages from Bounty. Hey yo, smash that like button. Wait, we got Bounty money now? Hey everyone, welcome to the Mythical Kitchen. Today we're in Babish's studio. We're, we're getting tattoos done ourselves and then we're, we're gonna make chicken parmesan. Wow! Joseph. 
Thank you, brother. Sophia, you made all my dreams come true. Uh, thank you to everybody at home for making this dream come true. We'll do a little outro. Thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. Uh, we got new episodes of our podcast, Hot Dogs and Sandwich, every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcast. Hit us up on Instagram at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes. Uh, I'm going to pass out. I haven't had any water today. <laughs> You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron, available now at mythical.com.